What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to add your own custom sounds to screen swipe sounds. So what you're going to need is a .wav file, have that somewhere handy such as your desktop, and you're going to need a file editor for your iPhone, iPod, or iPad. So let's get into it, I'm going to go into iFunbox which is a file editor for my iPhone, and I'm going to hook my iPhone up to the computer like it already is, my iPod Touch actually, and I'm going to go into the raw file system, and then once I'm in there, I'm actually going to go to the system, where is it here, I'm going to go to system, and then the library, and then in there you should find something that says core services, go ahead and click on that. And then springboard.app, which is going to be a something that says springboard with a little icon next to it. It's this one right here. Go ahead, open that. And then I'm going to look for something that says SSSS sounds, which is screen swipe sounds. And then in here we have all the .wav files that are actually ready for use on the application or tweak. And what we're going to do is grab the sound, mine in my case is called Sword, and we're going to paste it into the file right here, the folder. And then we should update it, and mine was called Sword, let's see if it's in there, yes it's in there, Sword.wav. So now what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and go back into the raw file system, and we are going to go and toggle into library. Once we are in there, we could look for preference bundles. And then we're going to click screen swipe sounds preferences. And then in there we should find some that says screen swipe sounds preferences. It's a plist file. We're going to go ahead and we are going to drag that to our desktop. Go ahead and do that here. And I'm just going to move and replace here. Should work. And here it is, screen swipe preferences, and we're going to right click and open it with WordPad, or you could open it with Notepad, doesn't matter. Let's do that here, open it with WordPad. And then we're going to go down, and you're going to find all the sounds, and if you look here, there's something that says SSS, Swipe, Tune, Waga. I'm going to put mine in alphabetical order, and I'm going to put right below it, make an empty slot, and I'm going to copy the string above it. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste it and align it with all the other ones. And since mine is named SWORD, I'm going to type in SWORD with a capital letter, just like the other ones are with capital letters. And now there is something else. You have to go down, and everything is in lowercase letter. This is actually the WAV files. And they are all lowercase letters. If the WA if the WAV file is an uppercase letter, you're going to have to actually put an uppercase letter in this right here. So basically, this may be a bit confusing, but you have to name it the same as it is as the file name. So if the file name is Sword with the capital letter, you're going to have to put Sword with the capital letter in the string down below. So let me show, show you what I mean. We're going to go ahead and we are going to hit that copy button again. And we are going to erase whatever is in the middle and we're going to rename it. And I'm going to put sword with a lowercase letter because my file right here has a lowercase letter. If it were to have an uppercase letter, I would have to put an uppercase letter. So hopefully, hopefully that clears things up right there. Sorry if I confused you a bit. And now what we are going to go ahead and do is we are going to save this file. And once we save it, we can grab it from our desktop, screen swipe, screen swipe preferences. And we're going to paste it into the file here, folder. And we're going to click refresh and make sure it's updated. It's updated, so that's good. And now we can take things on over to our device and we are going to see if it worked. So now back on our device right here, we're going to go over to our settings and we're going to go to the screen swipe sounds board and we are going to see if it successfully worked. So if we go into sounds and the sound I added was sword, let's test it out. It worked on here. Now let's go see if it works on our springboard. And there we go, it works. So that is how you add screen swipe sounds, custom ones to your screen swipe sound settings. I thought this was pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.